Yo, what's up guys, it's Jeff, and today we have the fifth beta of iOS 14.5, and honestly, I thought we'd be seeing an official release specifically today. Given beta four was really stable, the new features are all pretty much out, and the fact that we've been in these betas for so long, I thought that we'd be getting a public release, but it seems like Apple isn't done, hence the beta five release. So we've installed the beta five onto our iPhone 12 Pro Max here, and we'll see if there's anything new here in beta five. So picking a cell phone carrier and or a plan that works specifically for you is very just complicated these days. There are so many different plans and carriers to choose from out there. And overall, this experience tends to be a very stressful one for people who worry about if they're getting the best deal or not. Now, Visible, a company owned by Verizon, is a cell phone service that offers plans that start at just $25 per month that deliver unlimited talk and text and also unlimited data with access to Verizon's 5G nationwide or ultra-wide networks. Now, Visible also offers device financing. So if you wanted to, let's say, pick up the new iPhone 12, you can actually finance this device through Visible for as low as $34 a month. And what's really cool is if you already have your own device, you don't even need to leave your home to sign up for Visible. You can either order a SIM from them that will be mailed directly to you, or you can get an eSIM for an any electronic SIM enabled device and start their service right away. All of the information on how to do that specifically will be in the link down below. So guys, go check out Visible by Verizon. It's absolutely an awesome service with unlimited talk, text, and data. And what's super important to me is that their speeds for data are actually very comparable to what we see in other major carriers where you are spending way more money on data than you need to. Overall, Visible is just a really awesome deal. And if you guys want to learn more about what Visible has to offer for you guys, I seriously suggest you check out that link down in the video description down below to find out why Visible is the best plan for you. Okay, so let's get into the finer details of this new update. And for beta five specifically, the total update size for the iPhone 12 Pro Max was 254.1 megabytes. And the update didn't take long at all. So I'm assuming that not too much was going on in the background in regards to many changes. Now, as for a new build number, the new one is 18E. 5186A. And of course, given that we have the letter A at the end of this build number, it does indicate that this is a very stable build. So if you're worried about any major bugs or just instability in general, we likely won't be seeing that here in beta five, just as we did it with beta four. Now, the last change that we saw is in the about screen, and that was the modem firmware that has now been updated and is now changed to 1.62.11. Okay, so taking a look at what's new, and honestly, I can't really find much of anything at all. In the release notes, Apple didn't even have anything referring to beta five. So I'm assuming that there were just maybe uh, some improvements made on some of the improvements that were made in beta four, like maybe some uh, you know changes to the code, those were now shored up here in beta five as they were from beta four. Now, what I did notice is when Apple releases builds like these, they're specifically for developers to build off of when creating or updating their apps so that they have the most stable and up-to-date build. And that's likely what beta five is. Now, the one thing that I was told about before but didn't see on my personal device was a prompt in the phone app to silence unwanted calls. Now, just to be clear, this was a feature that we saw in previous betas on different devices, but I just wanna show you that I just got that here on my device and it looks like it's fully operational on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now past that, again, I didn't find anything new, but if anything major is out there that you guys wanted to share, make sure to let us know in the comment section down below. Now, as far as performance and battery life goes, everything is seriously exactly the same. We ran benchmarks and found that both performances of the device itself and the battery performance were within the margin of error from beta four, and there's no visual change to those uh, dynamics either. I guess that's just more evidence that this build was meant to be more of a better build kit to work off of for developers specifically, and nothing really more since there's not much of anything new going on when it comes to new features, changes, system performance, or even battery life. 
So with that said, if you were on beta four, I'd maybe say don't even bother updating because uh, there's nothing really going on here in beta five. But if you were on a less stable build, maybe like beta three or beta two of the iOS 14.5 betas, then maybe consider updating because this is going to be by far the most stable of them all. Okay, so that was today's iOS 14.5 update video. And if you guys were a little bit disappointed, like me, that we didn't see anything new, I will have a link down below recapping all of the new features and changes that we've seen so far in iOS 14.5 betas. There's a lot of them and uh, what you have to look forward to in an official release, hopefully coming soon. Now, as far as that official release date, I thought it was going to be today but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, given we have the last build uh, for the betas here, I'm assuming so, uh, given we have had two very uh, kind of like not really exciting beta builds here, just focusing more on bugs, we should be seeing either something coming out uh, later this week on Friday or maybe something coming out next Monday. Of course, we'll keep you updated when any official release is made for iOS 14.5. So guys, that's it for today's video, but if you want to see more content in the near future, definitely get subscribed, hit that like button, and also hit that notification bell button as well to get notifications when any new content is released. There is also links down below to my Twitter, the updated podcast, and some really cool merch you can check out, so make sure to check out those links before you head out from today's video. But anyways, guys, I hope to see you in some future content or on some social media platforms sometime soon. But until then, I hope you all have an awesome day.